okay now let's uh, discuss about this essay in further detail uh, so as i mentioned in my previous lecture that uh, charles lamb uh, praise of chimney sweeper shows his essential immunity uh, and his profound sympathetic nature so he speaks only for the young chimney sweepers and not the grown up or old chimneys sweeper who do not entrust him so lamb recall his childish wonder at a young chimney sweepers who disappearing into the chimneys from below and after a while emerging at the top like a warrior who has conquered uh, you know or who has conquered a set uh, del so lamb's sympathetic nature is seen, uh, is seen and his urging the reader to give a penny or two pence of chimney uh, to the chimney sweepers whenever uh, he happens to meet one so lamb gives an edge to his praise of chimney sweeper when he uh, tells us that if he does not in the least uh, feel appended when a young chimney sweeper laughs and jeers uh, at him similarly uh, he welcomes the sight of the white teeth of a uh, sooty young chimney sweepers uh, and he thought that he cannot tolerate a lady making a display of her white teeth so lem chos lem does not always stick closely to his subject uh, in his essay there are three paragraph in which he describe what he calls uh, sassafras tea which is greatly relished or which is greatly liked by those chimney sweepers uh, so lem imagines that some of the chimney sweepers were born in noble families and were kidnapped from their aristocratic homes uh, in their infancy uh, and lem chos lem is fond of interpreting uh pursing his essays with anecdotes like uh, this essay the praise of chimney sweepers contain at least three anecdotes or three stories there is the story of how once he slept in the course of walk and became the butt a ridicule for a young chimney sweeper this is one anecdote from his real life then there is uh, another story of the chimney sweepers who's aristocratic and stinked prompted him to get into a lordly bed in order to rest his tired limb uh, and finally there is um, the third one uh, there is the long story relating to the sumptuous entertainment in honor of young chimney sweepers so these anecdotes lend uh, you know a narrative interest especially to this essay uh and this is a the praise of chimney sweeper is a rich feast for the literary epicure or for those people who are interested in literature iteration is one of the ingredients of lem his style in his essay the descriptive power of lem find a remarkable expression uh, in the essay the praise of chimney sweeper so this is a highly imaginative essay with a deep emotional appeal and is written in a poetic style it may indeed be called uh, a lyric in prose uh, and this essay reveals lem sympathy for the low and downtrodden children his love towards the chimney sweeper is praiseworthy especially in this essay uh, and lem says that the voice of the chimney sweeper remind him of the chirping of the sparrow when you read out this essay so you will find some sentences that he compare uh, the voices of those chimney sweeper when they uh, you know come out to the streets of london so and they utter these voices sweep sweep so chaslem compare these voices into what into the chirping of the sparrow the boys in the dark clothes resembles clergymen these boys preach uh, passions to mankind by their hard work 
their hard work shows that they preach passions to a humanity. Uh, and further, Lamb used to be shocked at the sudden disappearance of the sweeper within the complicated chimneys. I have shared also the picture of those chimneys. You can watch those chimneys. And also, I have shared two pictures of those children uh, who clean those chimneys at their time. So, Charles Lamb was shocked. He, uh, you know, described the scene of those chimney sweeper when they disappear within those complicated chimneys. He felt immensely relieved when the sweep came up on the roof with his brush weaving like a conjurer's plague. So let me ask the reader to be generous and give the sweeper a penny or two. And he asks his reader to offer a sassafras tea to the small boys. The, uh, the tea which is made from boiling the wood of uh, sassafras, uh, which is a kind of wood which emits a repellent uh, smell. If we give them a cup of tea, they will do the work with great enthusiasm and save the chimneys from uh, catching the fire. So while walking along the street, lamps fell down by seeing this a chimney sweeper's loft at him uh, uh, in one scene of this essay. So for Lem, uh, he did not uh, you know, get angry because the boy's joy was completely free from any uh, malice or ridicule and was the outcome of innocent mirth or joy. So Lem says that he would uh, have stood there without pain uh, if the boys is loved till midnight. He appreciated the sweeper's white teeth shining in contrast to his black skin and clothes. So Lem expresses his belief that some of the sweepers must be from noble families because they were kidnapped uh, during their childhood. They must have been kidnapped in their uh, infancy and might be forced to do this work. So to support this argument, Lamb tells a story of a chimney sweeper who had slept on the Duke uh, bed. So there are several uh, courteous behavior, uh, behavior shows their 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 descent from he was descended from an aristocratic families. So Lamb phrases his friend Jim White. There, this is another character which was introduced by Charles Lamb in this essay, uh, and he was the friend of uh, Charles Lamb, and his name was Jim White, uh, and he appreciate and praises his friend for his sympathy towards the chimney sweeper uh, because his friend Jim had the practice of giving annual dinner on ST Bartholomew Day and Smithfield to the chimney sweeper. So he used to invite sweeper in and around the city and would serve them uh, with uh, all dignity. He would conduct the peace with great care. So to sum up, we can say, that this essay shows uh, Lamb's attitude, love, and sympathy for uh, the suffering uh, children during that time. So Charles Lamb, as he uh, called our many critics, and he also himself called uh, himself Elia, was one of the greatest essayists and person critic of the early 19th century. So his most popular collection of essays from which uh, this essay, The Praise of Chimney Sweeper, is the essay of Elia. So it is a delightful blend of autobiography, fancy, humor, and sentiments. So The Praise of Chimney Sweeper is a gently little essay which uh, throws a romantic light on the children who clean those great chimneys of the industrial England. Uh, and then the little sweeps, as Lamb fondly calls them, spend their days uh, in the duct or in those uh, caves of the chimneys. Uh, and they work removing uh, cresut build up in order to prevent chimneys fire. So Lamb 
talks of their humor, their love for sassafras teas, because these chimneys prefer they love uh, this kind of tea. So their joyful smile and their ecstasy at the annual uh, banquet for young chimney sweeper at the ST Bartholomew Fair in Smithfield, as I mentioned above, that to his friend uh, Ann Willie gave suppers to uh, these um, little chimney sweeper. So he also eulogized his friend James White in his essay. Uh, and further, Lem also touches briefly on the popular rumors that Little chimney sweepers often kidnapped young boys and even toddler to use them as apprentice, since uh, they could go where adults could not. He does not mention the ghastly, dangerous, often fatal working condition because he did not probably want to uh, uh, digress from the romantic view with which he viewed the young chimney sweeps. So the other compared the young African sweepers to young sparrows or matins log who notes are not fully developed. He respect them as they bear uh, the biting chills of December preaching the lesson of patience to mankind. And then he further described uh, his mysterious fascination toward the sweeper operation as they went uh, sounding on through so many dark, stifling caverns, cleaning them, which Lamb felt was the jaws of the hell. So the sympathetic portrayal of the bad sweeps and the punishment meted out on them draws sharp criticism from Lamb as he compared them to the apparition of a child crowned with a tree in his land. And then the deep humanism and concern for the underprivilege of the society he has uh, is brought out when he earnestly asked the gentlemen on early morning works to help the sweeps by giving them a finny or even a tester sixpence by being uh, moved by their blister heels. And then further he calls to the humans to enliven their liver of these sweeps by treating them with a slice of delicate bread and butter along with a uh, salute, means serve these children because they are the downtrodden um, uh, children of the society. So Lamb, who is usually sensitive to the fears, uh, mock as insult of people when they, are, when they see someone trip and fall on the road. But he was not the least annoyed when a chimney sweeps was amused and laughed his heart off on seeing Lamb fallen flat on the pavement one winter day on Cheap Street. Lamb was glad and unseeing the sweeps uh, for clarity just as Hogarth has immortalized them in his famous painting, March to Fensley. So the other is particularly nettled when he sees uh, a pompous display of teeth by the ladies and gentlemen of the society, where he thinks that it is just the extension of uh, dawns, but not so far a sweep is like a silver lettering, lightning, and the sable cloud on a dark night. The author then proceeds to analyze the character of the chimney sweeper. He notes that there is a tinge of nobility and gentility in them. He says that the reason for this may be many. The sweeper may have been abducted when they were infants, or they have been pushed to his misery because of the bad time that had befallen on their family, etc. As I mentioned above, uh, in the particular case of young sweeps having been discovered sleeping on the deep bed, the author says that it was probably due to a memory of uh, the boy being lulled to sleep and the comfortable lap of his uh, mother or uh, nurse. So the author also grabbed the opportunity to eulogize uh, his friend, Mr. James White, who shared the similar compassion towards young chimney sweeper in order to entertain them. James White, uh, who was the friend of uh, Charles Lamb, organized a party for young sweeps every year in Smithfield during the St. Bartholomew Fair. So Lamb, James White, and John Fenwick saw the delighted, uh, the delighted sweeps wishing that their brushes went over the pens of the poets. So all the sweeps were given 
a gratifying dinner with an extensive uh, question just as all goods come to an end. The dinner also its last uh, after the death of James White. After a few years, the fair itself was stopped because it was considered uh, as a public noise. So the essay thus bears a strong testimony of the humanity inherent in Charles Lamb. His fancy is distinguished by great delicacy and tenderness. His conceit are imbued with human feeling and passion. He is none other than the great essayist uh, Charles Lamb. Lamb saw English as an instrument to be used for various purposes. His genius led in his power of visualizing memories a vanished face, a hushed voice, recollected gesture, some familiar friend from bookland, the memory of some treasure joy. He allows his intellect and fancy to play upon his memory. It is evident in one of the essays uh, like uh, the praise of chimney sweeper. So the main focus of Charles Lamb uh, in this essay is to discuss child labor that it is an inhuman or cruel act to treat these children through this way okay so we must help them uh, we must arrange uh, you know some Bonket or suffers for them because these are the drowned trodden uh, children of the society. So, being a human, uh, we must support them. And later on, during the revolution, uh, when an act was passed against uh, child labor. So later on, child labor was strictly uh, prohibited. You don't have to allow children to do labor work uh, or to earn money for their family. Although it was uh, considered, especially at that time, that children must support uh, their families in some form or earn money and contribute uh, to the income of their family. But Charles Lamb, he was against this and he, you know, praised all those chimney sweepers. And I, again and again, he compared these chimney sweepers to uh, clergymen, to blackness, to those African people or to those black people, okay, in this essay. So I will suggest that you must study the original text of this essay uh, so you will understand it better. And I will share uh, the some lectures which are, uh, I have, which I have downloaded uh, from, YouTube and I will share those lectures with you people and those lectures are based on the original text of uh, this essay which is the praise of chimney sweeper by Charles Lamb. Thank you so much.